this is uh, Michael Wilton from Queensryche. Um, I play lead guitar, and uh, this is kind of my signature guitar that I've used for over 20 years with uh, the ESP Guitar Company. Um, it's gone through uh, various stages uh, of development. Um, the, the latest stage uh, for the, uh, the custom model is uh, Glow in the Dark Skulls. So uh, what they do is they, they dip the guitar in that and then uh, you know print the black on top of it. So it's uh, uh, kind of a unique thing. What's very cool is, uh, you know, the, the techs behind the stage, you know, hit it with uh, flashlights and these things start glowing, right? So when I walk out onto a dark stage, they don't see me, but they, they see the guitar and it's, uh, you know, they see little skulls floating in the air. It's kind of cool. All my guitars come with a, uh, uh, a real Floyd Rose not a licensed copy, so you, you get that. Um, this one's been upgraded uh, to uh, titanium saddles. Um, I get those at uh, floydupgrades.com, um, and it has a, a, a EVH D-tuner, which drops the guitar from E to D with the, just the sliding of this device. Um, and uh, I put a, a, a badass titanium block on there um, and red springs um, and uh, you know and it's, these go for you know a couple years of touring and then you gotta kind of switch them out but they're good good uh, devices to have um, the pickups uh, Seymour Duncan. Um, I use a ceramic magnet, so this is either a, uh, a Duncan Custom or a uh, Duncan Distortion. Those are both ceramic magnets rather than Alnico magnets. And then this is a uh, uh, SSL-1 Alnico. And this is called a hard driver. And uh, this pickup is special. It's, uh, um, it's like a sustainiac. It uh, sustains the note. And uh, so what happens is when the uh, jack is engaged, um, this runs on a battery in the back here. Oh, you can't see it. I'd have to open that up. And this uh, potentiometer right here controls the, the amount of uh, sustain that you want. So you can get, you know, sustain for days on one note. And then um, an added bonus of the hard driver is the, uh, the octave uh, push-pull feature, which is this. When you pull it up, the note you're on reaches to the next octave. So you can get some outrageous uh, Ted Nugent style uh, crazy mayhem notes if you want. Um, and uh, you know they're uh, they're good pickups. Um, some, the problem is is if you leave the cable plugged in, which I tend to do all the time, it drains the batteries. And then in a performance, you go to get some sustain, and nothing happens, and you go, ah, okay, you know. But uh, they're, they're really cool. Um, they're, you know, for, uh, for needing a guitar that does it all, <laughs> you know, you gotta have one of these. And then my uh, configuration with the, uh, the volume knobs, obviously this is for the hard driver and the, the pull function is for the hard driver, but when it's not engaged, it's a uh, tone and then this one is just master volume uh, these cool little uh, skull uh, knobs 
are custom. I get these at a creepypewter.com and they have all kinds of really badass things for the guitar. Um, I got a five switch, selector switch, so I can split the coils and um, that's all I can do, just yeah. these two. When it's in this position, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. So, um, and you know we, uh, we beef up the uh, potentiometers that are in there, so you get the heavy duty, uh, sturdy construction. They last longer. For the Queensrÿche show we're doing right now, I'm using you know mainly this for all the heavy stuff, and then um, when I break into a lead, you know I. Uh, I just engage this and then this pickup comes on. So it's kind of, um, it's a gradual kind of sustain that happens that uh, allows for some pretty cool feedback. I use uh, Dean Markley strings. Um, I've been with Dean Markley for, you know, quite a long time. Uh, I prefer the, uh, the, uh, the nickel strings. They're, uh, you know, less wear and tear on the frets. Um, they sound good. You know, uh, uh, I probably change them out like every three or four shows. Um, I have a guitar tech that cleans the strings right after a performance. Um, and then this this guitar uses uh, um, 10 to 46. So. You know, there's there's all great string manufacturers out there. I've just, you know, I like Dean Markley. I'm partial to them, and you know, we've had a great relationship for many years. This is a ESP guitar, so it's a signature, which means y you have to pay a little more for it. These are uh, uh, choice wood um, guitars with. Uh, very nice figured maple necks. Um, so you're getting the premium wood. And, uh, you know, along with the uh, phosphorus dip, <laughs> you know, that kind of adds a little cost to it. Um, and, uh, you know, these, uh, these guitars uh, with the sturdy, you know, maple necks, um, you know, they. They keep their shape very, very nicely, and the uh, uh, adjustment, unfortunately, is you have to take the four screws out, and then you adjust the truss rod in there for when you go from you know really uh, wet climates to dry climates. Sometimes the neck shifts a little bit, but um, you know I've been playing this guitar since 1980. 90 and uh, um, you know I've gone through various renditions of this I own probably about 10 of these <laughs> so I've uh, accumulated them over the years and I have to say they just uh, keep getting better you know each year so uh, ESP is doing a great job in their uh, quality and their manufacturing so I'm really pleased with this guitar and it's you know I do play other guitars, like Les Paul style as well, but uh, for Queensryche, uh, Strat style is what, I, what I'm known for, so that's what I play. Um, and then my, uh, my rig that I'm currently touring with is uh, based around the Kemper, the Kemper Profiler with the, uh, um, the amplifier included. Um, I DI that and then I run a, uh, a separate uh, speaker for uh, you know, sustain, and, um, but that's not mic'd, so uh, my signals all go in DI. Um, I run through a, uh, an AKG uh, 4000 wireless system that uh, I've been using for many years that's really nice, and um, so the uh, uh, that's basically my rig. I have some backup stuff, but uh, that's kind of what I what I travel with. The uh, the 
the Kemper is kind of the uh, the brain of, of, of everything. Um, it's quite an amazing device. Um, it profiles amps. Um, you can uh, go on their user forum and download everybody's profiled amps that you would like to try out. Um, I use my own amps. I um, What's great is uh, like when you you get your amps all uh, tuned up and sounding great in the studio. That's when you profile them, and uh, um, you know you, you store them in your Kemper, and then you can store them on a USB stick. Um, I'm I've always recorded with a Marshall. Um, I I have the uh, the Jubilee Silver Anniversary, and uh, I profiled that, and that's the sound that I use live. So, in a sense, I'm, I'm using my amp, but surrogate through the Kemper. Uh, and then my clean sound is the, uh, the Roland JC120, which we've used on, you know, since um, Mind Crime all the way up to now. So, um, that, that stays in my home. And, uh, but we profiled that, so I have that clean sound. And I've only profiled a couple other amps, but I'm not using them in the tour. I've got uh, an orange amp that uh, I profiled, and um, I think a Hughes and Kettner one that I did. But um, primarily for this Condition Human tour, I'm using the, uh, the Marshall Jubilee and the, the Roland JC120. You know, and you can check out all the latest news on Queensryche. Just go to uh, queensrykeofficial.com or queensryke.com or Queensryke Official Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, all the media sites. Um, you know, I have my own website, which is uh, michaelwilton.com, so you can find lots of pictures and interesting things on that site. And uh, I'm Mike of the Reich on Twitter and on Instagram. So yeah, we're, we're just all about the, the technology these days. And it's, um, I think we still have a MySpace account, but I don't remember the login. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's other apps, I guess, that you can find out where Queensryche is playing as well. Like there's bands in town and, and uh, um, you know, you can find everything on the web. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, stay tuned. Keep uh, keep your eyes and ears on Queensryche. Um, this has been a great tour. Uh, well over a uh, hundred shows this year. Been away from home a lot. Traveled the world, and uh, now it's winding down, and it's time for Queensryche to write another album. So uh, the next coming months, you know, we'll be crafting our ideas and. And uh, putting together, uh, you know, songs for everybody to hear. So we're really excited about that. And uh, if all goes well, and I'm just saying, uh, maybe a release uh, 2017 fall. And uh, more touring to come your way.